Hey everybody, I'm Howard and this is Otto's Retirement Corner. Okay, so I'm going to follow up the last video I did about ARP. And, um, you know, I had read a statement from ARP, not from me, where they had mentioned they were not political. They did not donate to any particular political party. So they had no affiliation with any particular political party. party. And some of the comments came back. And again, that, was, that wasn't my, me saying they're not liberal or they're not conservative. That was them saying that. Some of the comments came back saying, yeah, they're liberal. They're a democratic uh, organization. You know, they're, they support left-wing policies. And, you know, to an extent, I can understand that viewpoint. And I, I think they get that a lot because they support things like expanding Social Security and expanding Medicare which are things that Democrats want to do. So I, I get that. Um, so one, one viewer uh, named Bruce Smith suggested to me that I give, you know, in essence, equal time to a, a conservative organization. Again, even though ARP is saying they're not a liberal organization, but you know, I'm going to do that. Uh, make of it what you will. Uh, he had mentioned AMs, AMAC, which is the Association of Mature American Citizens. Now, you know, they, they do pretty much the same thing ARP does in that they have memberships of uh, people over 50. And their mission is, is and this is their, their quote, preserving American values of faith, family, and freedom. So you can see they're a little bit more you know, uh, ideological, I guess I would say. Um, you know, they take on a religious overtone, um, you know, in the base of it may be a religious overtone. So, you know, the same thing, they do lobbying, just like ARP does, only they, you know, they want uh, other policies put through, I guess you would say. Um, you know, a quick uh, financial check. It, it's a much smaller group, clearly. They have... You know, the last number I got was 1.1 million members. It may be as high as 2 million. Um, I may, may have found some old information. So, you know, I did find something that said 2 million, but I'm not sure what year that was from. But let's say 2 million as opposed to the 40 million of ARP. Um, assets of $300,000, equity of 280, uh, an income of 238,000, mostly from membership dues. So, Obviously, a much smaller organization. Uh, I'm going to read from from their website. Their their what they call their legislative priorities, and this these are their goals. So number one is to restore election integrity, promoting free, fair, and secure elections, opposing the federal takeover of elections. I'm not I'm not sure what that means or what they consider federal takeover of elections. Then they say defend our constitutional freedoms, advocating for First Amendment freedoms or religious liberty and free speech, which have been under attack. Um, parental rights, uh, you know, know what their children are being taught in school, safeguarding children from the radical critical race theory and gender indoctrination in our schools. You know, and again, we've heard this critical race theory is not taught in grammar schools or high schools, it's a college advanced placement course, uh, we'll, we'll see that. Um, um, Social Security uh, solvency, um, you know, and they talk about currency and solvency and prefer, preserve benefits for current members or current beneficiaries. And then they say deliver better health care, improve and expand health care price transparency. I, I have no idea what that means. Expand access to quality health care through the AMAC Inspired Health Act. Um, I did not look, I, I couldn't find that health act right away. I, I might do some more digging, uh, but nothing specifically here about Medicare. Then they have uh, save every human life from the unborn to the elderly, protecting the lives of mothers and their unborn babies. Defend seniors against a growing movement of physician-assisted suicide. Um, I didn't realize that was a big movement. Uh, you know, certainly the people are in, in favor of uh, euthanasia. Um, but again, you know, that's what they're doing. In addition, we engage in our conservative coalition partners to restore full energy independence, support veterans and their families, secure the border, and stop lawless immigration, 
support the law enforcement and reduce crime in America communities, strengthen our national defense and homeland security, stop runaway federal spending and the increase in the national debt. Yeah, all for that one. <laughs> um, so th the only specific policy I can find is in regards to Social Security where they support raising the minimum age to collect Social Security from 62 to 64. I didn't see anything about extending the FRA. Um, you know, I haven't seen any studies on what this would save. You know, I think immediately there'd be a nice two-year kick to the trust fund, delaying everybody from taking it 62 and going to 64, or maybe they're going to phase it in over time. No specifics. Um, so again, some, so reading those priorities, I think it's clear, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm sure you will, that this goes beyond advocacy for senior citizens. This is just a, a, a conservative platform that is, is more general in nature, more overall in nature. Certainly anything they think they can accomplish, they think would benefit seniors, but it, this isn't specifically for seniors. This is more a widespread goal. So let me know if you've heard of AMAC, Association of Mature American Citizens. Again, there's, there's two or three uh, conservative, and they say they're conservative. This, this isn't, you know, they're outright, hey, we're conservative. This is what we want, um, as opposed to ARP, who says they're not conservative or liberal. So have you heard of them? What do you think of them? Are you a member? One person did say they were a member on my ARP video, so maybe there's more members out there. Again, given equal time, obviously it's a much smaller organization, uh, but tell me what you think about their goals or policies. Um, you know, they, they send out magazines too that people, you know, may like as much as they like the art. I got a lot of comments on the art magazines and people really like the articles in there. Uh, maybe this is the same thing, just, you know, catering to, you know, just the, the right, uh, but that's okay. Um, so tell me what you think. Um, just a quick video to, to cover the other side. Uh, please subscribe, like, comment. I want to see what people have to say about this organization. Thanks and we'll see you next time. Bye.